everyone, it's Sam here. Today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable um, concertina stepper card <laughs> with the festive pigs swinging as they do in the middle there. And you've got the rolling heels, you can see that kind of concertina look. It's actually better when you pull it out further. Um, they're super cute. I've made all the background there, added the, um, the snowflakes and I've also got the matching envelope with the other little piggy there all of the stamps and the wax seal. Very easy, you don't need any dies to make the card blank and then you can decorate it with anything that you want. So let's get started. So this is the stamp set I've used. It's from the latest issue. Well, I say latest, by the time the video goes out, there may be another one. I'll link it below. It was issue 139, I believe, off the top of my head. I've adopted the Adventures in Ink characters. So if you're aware of those last year from Craft Stash, they were beautiful um, little critters, which I used on lots of Christmas cards. And I used them with my Made to Surprise products. And then I was asked if I would like to yeah, adopt these characters and put them under Mater Surprise for the latest issue. So if you missed out on those last year, you've got the chance to grab some of them again. I will be doing a card using every single character. So you'll have lots of inspiration there. And like I said, look back at the old ones. I'm going to put a playlist together and you'll see that coming up either now or at the end of the video with all of those cards. So this is today's envelope. Again, just use some of my old uh, stamps there. I do this purely for decoration. They either get hand delivered or they go into a little padded envelope and then get posted with the, the boring postage stamps on the front. It's just a nice way to finish off the card. So that one's all done. All of the bits and pieces that I use to decorate those I also have linked in the description box. All of these old stamps, I just collect them from charity shops and places like that. So for this card, I'm going to have three of the bears like holding hands like so, and they are going to swing in the centre. So I still want to have that kind of washing line, but we're going to have these bears instead. I've got my rolling heels. This time I've added some of the snow techs onto the edges. This stuff dries rock hard, but you can see that wonderful dimension. So there are my tears there to go inside. And then I've already decorated this piece and I'll give you the measurements for that in a moment. I used a snowflake stencil and then the distress spritzes, which I'm loving. You're gonna see them all the time because I am a little bit obsessed with them. Okay, so that is all of the product. For the card, you want this piece here. So it's eight by 11. And you may want to do this using a, if you've got a trimmer that has a score tool on it, then you may want to use that because you can use your scoring tool to line up against the ruler that's usually down the side of your trimmers. But if you're doing it like me, what you want to do, if I hold it up, you'll see all these score lines are all within this rectangle, which is in the middle of the cardstock. There's no score lines coming from the edges. So along the eight inch side, you want to come down one and a half inches. So I've got my one and a half marker there and you want to come in one inch and then you want to start scoring. So just kind of hover your stylus down to that half, uh, one and a half uh, marker and just score all the way down to nine and a half. You're going to do exactly the same as that again, but at seven inches. So you're going to hover your stylus, come down one and a half inches and then start scoring all the way down to nine and a half. Then you want to rotate, and this time you're going to come down to the end of that original score line, which should be at one inch and one and a half here. So come, so one and a half, come down one inch, and you should meet that original score line. All you want to do now is join them up. So the top of that score line, you're gonna score all the way down to seven inches, and that should reach the top of the other score line. If not, just go back around again. You might have to just join them up. So that one was at one and a half, and then this one is at nine and a half. So again, start scoring at the end of that score line, all the way down to seven inches, where you should meet the other one. So you will now have this big rectangle in the middle of the cardstock. This is 300 GSM, it's the Craft Stash Smooth, but a 220 will be fine as well. You then want to score every one inch within that rectangle. So your next score line will be at two and a half, starting from the top of that. And that's at one inch down, but you'll be at the top of that score line. So just score all the way down at two and a half, then again at three and a half, four and a half, five and a half, six and a half, seven and a half, and eight and a half. This is the um, what I meant about using the trimmer. This has got a cutting blade and also a scoring blade. So if you just put them both at the top. For me here, I'd have to line up this side at the one inch marker there. And then you can use 
your measurements here so I can come down one and a half which lines up with that one and then score down to nine and a half so there's you know there's tools out there to make these things a bit easier if you if you want I'm going to now do that same thing but with the cutting blade so I'm just going to line up that blade at one and a half there's a little if I just bring it up there's a tiny little line here and you can line it up with, with the ruler Okay, and push that down. You're doing this along the eight inch side. So you're coming all the way down to the very last score line, which will be at nine and a half. And you can see now I've got that perfect score. And then again, put that other end in and score all the way down. So now I've got two perfect cuts. Next, we want to do our concertina fold. So the very first one, you want to create a mountain fold. And then you're going to do a concertina fold, so then it'd be a valley, and then a mountain, valley. Oh, I've just realised I forgot to do the middle score line. <laughs> Some of you, if you watch my live, you'll be like, she's missed the middle score line. Along that 11 inch side, you actually want to score at five and a half all the way down. I'll put a little um, reminder in the video. So back to where I was folding. So you've got your mountain, valley, mountain, valley. These two here become mountains. Again, keep going mountain, valley, mountain, valley, and finish with a mountain. And you'll see now you've got your concertina stepper card. Now it's going to be very bouncy, so just to reduce that, that's partly because I've used a 300 GSM, but it's easy to bring that in a bit. Just score really heavily on each of those concertina folds. Don't then score on top here because you'll get unless you're going to cover it but if you weren't you would get the marking of these underneath coming through so if you were stamping directly onto this so go in and score in between each one and on the very top there and now it's not as springy and it's going to just stand really nicely then to decorate the front here I've cut this piece down like I said I already decorated it some of you might use pattern paper for this piece or just a different colored cardstock you want to cut yourself a piece of five and a quarter by seven and three quarters and you want to come in along that seven and three quarter side three quarters of an inch just put a little pencil mark and then you can put another one at seven inches just there mark those again at the bottom come in three quarters of an inch three quarters of an inch then you just with a pencil just join up those two lines and then you want to come along this side you want to just from the right hand side just mark in one and a quarter and again one and a quarter and just draw your pencil and where they cross over that's the section you want to cut out and it will give you this piece here so i'm going to stick that one down on there whilst i do that i will then also stick these pieces down so i just made these so that they are just over the six inches that each of these concertinas are just so they they literally just slightly hang over the side i just cut them any height you want they might not be snowy mountains you might have some green card and do some little you know little hills or something you might just have lots of grass on all of these you could have we were saying it'd be nice to do like the rooftops and then you could have santa in his sleigh kind of uh, flying over you could put acetate just through here and then you could have all different things suspended from it my kind of height is three inches two and a quarter and one and a half just add a little bit of glue along the bottom and then just literally stick them on each of the concertinas i think i did four on the other one i'm just going to do three on this one like so you can see how they're all going to look with that on top and then i'm probably just going to carry on and do the decoration as well because everyone's is going to be different but i think I'm wondering if I need the string of these. I think I can stick these directly, you know, onto the card just by attaching them, you know, by their hands. Yeah, they're definitely going to meet. I think that's going to look super cute. I've gone for the sentiment, have a very Merry Christmas. That's going to go in the middle. And then I'm going to decorate it further with all of the snowflakes.
Okay, so there is the finished card. I think it looks fab. I did end up having to use the string because they wouldn't quite reach. They would, they were just touching. So this way I've got the one in the middle kind of swings around there and the other two are attached to the side. But I think it looks fab. It's got a really nice profile, it stands up lovely. And again, I brought back in the pigs as well. So if you like pigs at Christmas, then that's a fun one, especially the pigs in blankets. And I did a card last year with the pigs in blankets all in like a box. Um, that was very cute. I know lots of people have, uh, have redone that one. So thank you for watching today. As always, all of the products that I've used will be in the description box below. You can find this stamp set by clicking just here. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I, like I said, I'll have that playlist with all of these animals being used and all the different cards that I've um, made using them. That'll be coming up now. Take care and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.